welcome back to round 13. I'm Benedict Hugo and I'm joined by wonderful Lydia Hamber. We're going to fix that, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so we're back on stream and we have an exciting matchup. Uh, Alex is returning to the stream. We saw him yesterday with his yeah. possible uh, e uh, GX attempt with his uh, powering up beast rings all over the place, setting up really fast. And on the other, other side, we have Fabian. Um, playing a very interesting Sorok, Bennett, Lycanroar, Katana. Yeah, one Mac Katana, mishmash. his signature card. <laughs> yeah. So, both <laughs> very promising decks and both like very unusual lists. <laughs> like mashing every Pokemon in there together. And yeah. Yeah, both players are well known. Mm -hmm. Both are top 16 contenders of the whole last season. And. <sighs> I'm sure we're going to see a high quality match here. Yeah, and both are at uh, 8 to 2, I believe. Yeah. So it's 26 match points. So they they have, so it's not enough, but so a win would like give them a head advantage in, yeah. the, in the tournament. They're definitely not out of top 8 reach no, yet. No, they're not. So but this is a very important yeah. game for them both. So it's going to be interesting to see. They are set up already. We just saw the handshake. Uh, I hope we can switch to game. Any minute, I guess. Yeah. Any second. Okay. We're switching to game. <laughs> <laughs> there we Great. go. Uh, so Fabian opening with this uh, with this uh, usual bus wall, but he also plays. Oh no! So he, so he plays one bus wall, and besides that, he plays the standard four four Sorok line and two two Bennett, which can come in handy against Alex since. He, he just dumps like a lot of supporters to the bin and then he can swing for massive one hit KO on, on the bus wall GXs. Oh my god, yeah, it hits it for weakness. Yeah, it does. So, like, uh, yesterday we saw Alex on stream as well against uh, Sorak Bennett uh, deck, but um, she was L Laura, right? Yeah, Laura yeah. Durkin. And Laura wasn't able to set up her, sh her Bennett and. Um, Fabian plays a thicker line of Bennett, so maybe he's able to set them up and uh, swing the game for, for his favor. Yeah, um, so what, what's going to be Alex's match plan in this matchup? I think like setting up the Makago is obviously important for him, since like if you go down the Bryces, you activate Beast Ring as fast as yeah. possible. You want to have those Beast Rings to swing for massive amounts of damage. And I think Fabian's game plan should be like setting up the bonnets and dumb and like using a lot of supporters to, to swing for massive amounts of damage. And I think Alex should tackle the uh, the the bonnet, uh, the, the shepherds as as quick as possible to deny Fabian even evolving them. Yeah, that, that sounds pretty good in theory. <laughs> and Fabian, of course, is going for his bonnet as it's his attack card. Yeah, it's really good against Buzzwall and Buzzwall GX since they both have Psychic Weakness. And it's also very good against uh, Gabador, which is also oh, yeah. like a card that you usually... Itself. Yeah, <laughs> it's a card that you usually see in, in, uh, in a lot of decks at the moment. And the good thing is that Bennett is not weak to Psychic. Since it's a Ghost-type oh, yeah. Pokémon, it's weak to Darkness. And there are not too many Darkness Pokémon around at the moment. No, no, I couldn't really think of any. Mm -hmm. oh, so there we see the Guzman knockout for oh, the I can think of Sorok. for the Sabua, <laughs> and maybe he's going to use the other third damage on the uh, Shepherd. Yeah, there, there you go. Forcing Fabian to evolve it right now, but it seems like Fabian's. Oh, oh we see a scoop from Fabian. Oh my god! <laughs> this was like the quickest round we had so far. Wow. Oh. <laughs> I mean. I mean, Fabian is, <laughs> Fabian is a player who knows he's in a situation mm -hmm. where he really does not take anything out of a tie. Yeah. So he really wants that Both win. Both players want to win. Because and like Fa Fabian is in a favorable position. Mm -hmm. He knows the matchup is rather favorable for him. So he rather has more time for two wins than just takes the die. Yeah, of course. And, and that's that's like what, what sometimes separates players. They, they know when to scoop and they yeah. know when to like give up and try the next other two rounds to to uh, to win the series. Yeah, it really does. So I mean, I'm a bit biased because I love I love ghost type Pokemon. <laughs> so I, I'm really rooting for Bennett at this point. So I hope, like for once, it shows its majesty. 
Oh, but look, those players, they know each other very well. Yeah, like... sure. You, you see them smiling all over the place and chatting. Like, there's a lot of, there's a lot on the line though, but, but they, they're kind of cool guys. You should see, they're, ch they're chatting about. <laughs> yeah. It's nice. So, for this Binet deck, what's the best setup? What, what do you want to start with? I mean, looking at the list... I mean, like... You want to have some Zuroas on the bench? Mm-hmm. The thing is, Some like, Shippets, but... The thing is, you, um, Fabian you also... You want to start with Buzzwall. Also runs... Uh, Fabian also runs uh, Wingless Policies, so getting them into play would be nice, since I think Alex doesn't play any sort of field, though. No, he doesn't, so... Oh, no, so he's playing one, so... Um, probably... Fabian's weakness policies might stick, which mm -hmm. would be great for his Sorax to pr protect them. And then again, like uh, Burnett can swing for a huge amount of damage against uh, and taking two prizes. And yeah. it's kind of hard to respond KO then for, for Alex. So we see Fabian starting this one as he lost last round. Oh. oh. <laughs> oh rainbow energy to Zoro and then Zorua and then a retreat. I'd be heartbroken if Alex is like uh, Boswell GX. And then energy and Guzma. Ooh. <laughs> oh, well, but it does we're not going to see that. We see an energy to the answer, and oh, Alex is not well, looking. Too as we're seeing, happy like here. one of the special features XP of Alex share. deck is is actually playing XP share. So kind of uncommon cool. build, but so with the XP share, you usually uh, attach it to the rock rough to make sure that you have like and rock to close out the game. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, to, to, to draw more cards, he has to attach it to the Diancy. He's in a Kerbak. Mm. Oh, I think he drew into Ultra Ball and Buzzwall. Yeah. But he runs like. He runs enough Buzzwall. Like three Buzzwall GX and three normal Buzzwall. So, <laughs> in terms of Buzzwall, he's pretty much set for the game. Yeah, he decides to, to discard the Buzzwall. Mm -hmm. And um, maybe going for another Trapulele and a supporter for next turn. Or a rock rock. Oh, and he has to discard one of his three beast rings we were talking about. The beast rings allow us, uh, allows Alex to to ramp up energy really quickly once he goes down in prizes. And there we see the his oh, like well. his main attacker, Buzzwall Jax. Um, for one energy, he does jet punch thirty to the active, thirty to one of the bench, and it doesn't seem like much in the first in, in the first glance. But there's a lot of white fighting weakness in, in the meta game and. Usually you're, you're pretty much set if you just go jet punch, jet punch, jet punch, because it ramps up really quickly. Yeah, you have so much damage, uh, well, cards that make you do more damage, mm -hmm. yeah. especially with those fighting type Pokemons. It's true, they yeah, are I mean, really pretty. I mean, Alex plays uh, Choice Band, he plays Kakui, he plays the Dance of Prism Star, so yeah, it goes really quickly. Oh, let me see the Beast, Beast Energy. Energy. Choice Band, so it's... 30, 60, 90, 110, so it should be enough for the... Wait, see, it's it ramps up so yeah. quickly, it's 30 base and 30 beast energy, 30 choice band, 20 day and see times 2 for the Sorok. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and this is, this is the moment when, when Fabian's like hoping for a weakness policy. <laughs> So, so what's Alex going to do next? The thing is, he, he will get, yeah, so, so he needs to find another attacker since there will be probably a way to knock out this Boswell GX next turn for Fabian. Mm -hmm. And then it's the, the infamous uh, Sludgehammer turn. Yeah. Since so Sludgehammer does usually 30 for one energy, but then after you go down, your opponent goes down to four prizes, it does 120. And this is enough for like Sorak GX, which is Fabian playing a lot of. Well, we we can't. We should not forget that Fabian also plays one of the no regular buzz walls. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that might Alex, come in handy. He could like also right yeah. sledgehammer if, if because Alex is now in in the at down to four prices, so it deals the extra damage. Mm -hmm. But so either Fabian's playing Cynthia here, so he would need some kind of switching buzz wall. And an energy. I don't think he plays a switch, does he? No. no. Oh. He plays a Cerola? No, he already he played only a plays support and never mind. <laughs> so never mind. The thing is... He, he, he plays a switch. It, he, he just wrote it in uh, French. 
<laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Uh, that, that explains it. Um, so if he finds the switch and maybe the baby bus, uh, the bus wall. But that's a lot to ask for from mm -hmm. six cards. He has to find a Sora and trade and find more things. Yeah, so yeah. At least you can get the knockout. But then again, if Alex finds an energy, he goes down to two prices so fast. It's like nine minutes in, we are already round one is done, and yeah, Alex. I, I don't think Fabian is going to attack the bus wall unless he manages to get a weakness policy. Uh, I think, yeah, here there he goes for another, uh, is it Great Ball? Yeah, it's Great Ball, Yeah, right? it's Great Ball. So, he has double trade available, so maybe he's going to find the switch and the boss wall. That would be... I mean, that cards be... that would help him now is, he has a Rainbow Energy card in hand. Mm -hmm. Oh, so there he goes for the, for the, uh, yeah. And this boss wall is not prized, so, oh, he goes for Shuppet, that's, that's interesting. So he's setting up Shuppet for later turns. Or for the, for the turn after the turn. Yeah, well, um, what he wants here now is weakness policy. That definitely. Would, that, would, that would be so great for him. And a double colorless energy. But then again, Alex's free blow is not prized, so if he has access to that, it's. So let's see. Yeah, trade one. Trade. I think he has a banana in hand. Oh, trade oh, two. Trade two. Oh, the Katana. oh, Katana oh. can come in handy here. Because he has not drawn an energy to attack, unfortunately. So, I think he has to pass for the turn. Oh, that's a draw out field. Okay. I mean, at least that's something. Oh, yeah. And at least, like, it's. She should be out of range for one knockout, right? She's it's thirty plus choice spend is sixty plus stance is eighty, so it's one sixty in theory. But yeah. he also can play Kakui. So Alex has a lot of, of of ways to to manipulate damage. So maybe he's going for Kakui play. That could be. And interestingly enough, like Alex. X isn't going for the Macago at this point, which which showed like its potential in various games throughout yesterday and today. So maybe maybe he's eyeing out like a quick game two as well instead of a long. Yeah, game. I think Alex is not drawing too well in this game. He, I mean, he just lost his beast energy. He needs a new energy on this buzz wall, but this buzz wall is actually already. Damaged. It's it's half into the discard pile. It's half in mm -hmm. the discard pile already. So. But but he tries to make the most use out of it, right? Yeah. So sure. grabbing the light rock, probably using the ability. To oh to get for the rock rough. Yeah. Obviously. And then it's. It's knockout and thirty to the shepherd. Shepherd being probably the biggest threat to to yeah, Alex. He knows that Fabian is playing the buzz wall, so he wants to get out of Sludgehammer range. Mm -hmm. So there we see the banana, finally! <laughs> <laughs> My boy! Trade one, so now he has to find an energy, trade twice. He has an energy in hand, and I wonder how many supporters he played right now. He has a lot of supporters in his prize cards though. But it should be enough. Like it's It should be. It, it has weakness I mean, and... If yeah. you only played one supporter so far, question is now enough, where, so. where's he going to shady move? Like, um, Banette is able to move one of the damage counters in play to another one, which is shady as it says. And so he's removing the damage counter from the Banette and using it for the Diancy Prism Star. Oh, so he's playing the Guzma play for the Diancy? Which kind of surprised me because he had, he had like the rainbow in hand, and I thought like he's going for the. For the bus wall. And for those of you wondering why there are cards in the middle of the table, the Prism card star says they don't go through the discard to the discard pile, they go in the lost zone, so yeah. you can't recover them. I, I really like that he was playing going for the Diancy and mm -hmm. letting Alex have his damaged buzz wall because Alex does not really commit any more energy to this buzz wall. But he is, hasn't Fabian, Fabian just wants to, to skip the sledgehammer turn. 
Oh, yeah. So he, he goes down to five prizes and then... True, yeah. Like, tries to get a Guzma for the bus wall to just make sure that he goes down to three, not to four prizes. So, that the baby bus wall is a big threat when you go to four, down to four prizes if you're Fabian. But if you're just sitting there with three prizes, just like 30 times two, so it's not too bad. Yeah, and with a Bernard, you can do that as often as you like, right? Mm -hmm. So he could also move it has to be the active though. Yeah. Like you can once a turn, okay. but it has to be in the active though. But you could also move the damage from the bus wall to Lycanroc, then KO bus wall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, sure so, you can. Yeah. So Lycanroc would be in uh, KO range again. But then again, he, well he also then. can 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 uh, use the damage counter from his own Bennett. Oh. Because I think if he's using Bennett on the bus wall, it it gets knocked out anyway. But let's see, he's not taking anything with the last ball. Uh, and he's, he's the bus ball in hand, but I think, yeah, it's not in use for him anymore since Alex already went down to three prizes. So, another ultra ball. And he still has the rainbow energy in hand, so he's maybe going for Tapu Lele and then for Guzma. How many rainbow energy? He's playing four. Yeah, he's playing the full four. So then again, the Bernard is also in, in KO range, like even if he moves his own damage counter to uh, the, the own damage counter from Bennett to like, let's say Lycanroc, it has still, after the rainbow energy, it still has 50 energy on it, uh, 50 damage on it, mm -hmm. leaving it with 140, which is kind of an unfortunate number, since Lycanroc does 110 with choice span 140. So let's see. Alex has only two cards in his hand. So Fabian knows that Alex is not in the most flexible no, situation. No, he's not, he's not drawing that well or not drawing that much. No. <laughs> Neither well nor much. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't want to jinx anything, so. <laughs> there goes the rainbow, rainbow energy. energy. And then probably Guzma for maybe the Lycanroc or the Baby Boss Wall. No, if he goes for the baby bus wall, he's in such a range again. So yeah, so the, norm the normal bus wall. Uh, but yeah, she, he just wants to avoid the set shimmer turn from the bus wall. So we'll see. Oh, he goes for Sorak. Okay. Yeah, smart play. Stealing like one thirty, right? Yeah. The devout feed. Yeah. If Alex finds the energy, oh, that's not good. I mean, Fabian must have known that he's potentially running into that. I mean, one energy is not too much to ask for. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Maybe he can, he can like, he can uh, Guzma knock out the boss wall, then or uh, uh, knock out the Lycan rock, then. Maybe Guzma the bus wall and then take like the GX prize with uh, Katana. That would be an option mm -hmm. because he's like I should. She, I she... mean, he's in a, Fabian is in a really good spot. He he has those two damage GX on Alex bo board, yeah. so he KOs the two GX. He uses Katana's GX attack. Like Rock will take attack. out the Zorak though. So but he still has the one Zorak and the Bennett. Mm -hmm. So we will find out if Bennett is. <laughs> He also has Tapu Lele. Yeah, it should he be. He could go for energy drive for the KO. Mm -hmm. So it, I hope it's Bennett's time to shine. <laughs> <laughs> well, it does shine. <laughs> yeah, of course. It's, it's a rainbow rare. It's like super shiny and super cool, but like actually doing things. So Alex using the Jax attack, Dangerous Rogue, 50 times the amount of Fabian's bench Pokemon and like uh, Sorok is also weakness has weakness to fighting, so it's like that, that, 500 that damage. <laughs> so I think. And we see a judge here. Judge, that's really going to hurt Alex as he does not really have any draw support on board. Mm -hmm. Fabian in a good spot. He has this one Zorak still. So. so the bus wall is not the biggest threat at the moment. So if Fabian can drag out a few more turns, he might make a comeback but let's see it depends it he, all depends he, on what, he, what Alex is drawing right he just needs to hope that Alex breaks 
But I think I saw a beast ring in, in uh, Alex's hand, so that'd be, that'd be devastating. We see a great ball. Uh huh. Well, Alex is not really showing us his hand. I think it's saw a beast ring, which. <sighs> Nevertheless, we see we see a shop it. Oh, wait a second. Is can you pull up beast ring for me, please? Because is beast ring your prizes or the enemy's prizes? <laughs> I'm not. I don't want to make assumptions. If your so opponent has exactly three or four. So yeah, yeah. So it it is devastating if if he has the the beast ring in hand. I think that's game. Should be, but let's see what's going to happen. It's so unfortunate that like oh. So Pop. we see Paul Pat. So like. The Bananas do perfect counter against Boswell and Boswell GX, and like both times we had it on stream, it didn't work out. But I, but I can imagine that it worked out through, eventually through the day since. I mean, probably, somehow yeah. he, he must have won the games, yeah. right? Because <laughs> I, I can imagine that Fabian at least played one or two more Boswell decks. So. See, I cannot go in. If he promotes Boswell, I think he has he has game. Boswell. And yeah, there there's it beast is, ring. Beast oh. ring. He has, oh, yeah, and, and he, has, he has two energies and left. Using Knuckle Impact for knockout. That's game for Alex. Alex had such... Like, he was so fast in pressuring Fabian. Fabian yeah. couldn't keep up with it. It's so unfortunate, though. I mean, yeah, I mean, I really thought Fabian had a chance in the second game. Me too. But <laughs> somehow, I mean, Buzzwell has some comeback options now with that B string and Alex was ahead and yeah yeah it turns out I'm Lydia actually <laughs> yeah it's all <awful. laughs> yeah um guys we, we tried to get an interview with Alex yeah like yesterday we hadn't time for it but it went so it went so quickly so we will have time now so we're going to into short break making sure that Alex gives us an interview mm -hmm. and then we'll be right back Welcome back guys, we have a winner's interview with Alex Dow. I'm opting to play like 
a kind of strange list. I wasn't expecting too much possible jacks. How did, how, like, how did you put the deck together? Um, so it's come from uh, a teammate of mine, Luke Kirkham. Mm -hmm. uh, he's been playing it for a while now, and essentially, I really just didn't want to play Zoroark. I wasn't very comfortable mm -hmm. playing Zoroark, um, and of course, Buzzcore Shrine was the deck to beat. Yeah, but I felt like with Europe. All of us are trying to counter the deck. <laughs> yeah. And in that respect, everyone plays Zoroark. Mm -hmm. um, which, in my opinion, was always going to be the biggest deck of the, of the tournament. So I went with trying to get as many sort of better matchups as I could, and that's why I went with Buzzwell Like Mark. Yeah, like yesterday we saw you on stream and using a lot of Makago Beast Ring shenanigans. Mm -hmm. But, th like, in this matchup, you just went for brute force. <laughs> yeah, so the, the, set, the setup can be completely different. You mm -hmm. don't really want to be um, using the balls for mm -hmm. Makago or sort of Slugma too much. You still want to set up the original board of Buzzwalls and Lycan Rocks um, because they're the best partners together. Um, sort of Makago and Oranguru, mm -hmm. when they often come together, it's sort of mid to late game where you really need to get those sort of certain cards for the sort of, like you just said, Beast Ring. Yeah, sure. Um, and it often, more often than not, people tend to target the Slugma, which I'm quite happy with. So if I can get a Rock Ruff down, I'll get a Slugma down. Mm -hmm. And it means my rock ruffs yeah. alive for. And you also chose time. chose to play the XP share often enough for the rock ruff to just make sure that you can close out a game. Yeah. So it was a common thing, right? Yeah. Or, it, or I mean, you, I think I chose it on a Deancy because I just yeah, needed yeah, to put yeah, my hands down. We saw um, that, but usually the rock ruff. Is yeah. Safe. So it it works as a second a second energy attachment mm -hmm. essentially, um, and it just means you can power up the Lycan rock a lot more easier without having to worry yeah. about too much. Not too many people are playing field blur, or if they do, they're playing one. So you can kind of bait one out yeah, and you sure. have a second year to be sure. Okay, so going into the matchup, you, you saw the Shepard, right? Mm -hmm. And Shepard can be a big threat for the bus wall. Yeah. But do you feel like more comfortable towards that or...? So, we've discussed Shepard and Burnett before. We have another teammate who's playing Burnett in his Zorro mm -hmm. list. It's very hard for them to get a turn 2 KO with mm -hmm. Burnett um, on a Buzzwall GX. And if they do, it just immediately activates um, Beast Ring. Beast Ring. Yeah. Exactly. Or the Silla mm -hmm. And more often than not, you put 30 on it, they might move 10 off. They have 170 HP, which means it's 190. With Cocoon, you can still do a Sledgehammer turn um, and actually knock it out as well. Or just essentially use another Buzzwall GX and yeah. actually use Knuckle Impact. I mean, we were quite surprised to see Buzzwall GX return to the stream. Yeah. But, I, but it works. So there's a couple of players in your team that. Plays it, right? There's a. There were three of us that played it. Two of us are still playing day two. So mm -hmm. Myself and Luke Kirkham. Um, Jack unfortunately didn't do as well. But yeah, he, he, we all saw the merits of the deck, and that's why we chose to play it. I think there's other people playing Buzz Brock in day two as well. I think Pedro is playing it. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's 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 always been a very powerful, very consistent deck. Yeah. Because you have instead of nest balls, you can play the stadiums, mm -hmm. and it's. It works out really yeah, often well. enough, it's like just bus wall, energy, or jet punch. Exactly. And you're good for the turn. Yeah. Okay, so uh, congratulations again. And um, oh, so yeah, we have this thing, thing going where <laughs> you can open a pack. Unfortunately, you can't keep the cards. Brilliant. But we will raffle the code. So, sure. Um, I think most of them are German, but this seems to be English, right? Wow. Uh, <laughs> how not fun, James. <laughs> sure. Apparently, I can't open packs. Lusamine. Okay, okay. Th so at least we, we have the we have code and we have a lusamine, right. which is kind of okay. We had so much bad luck with the packs. We, <laughs> we, we opened like ten of them and we had like one GX. Something. Oh, that's a shame. No, nonetheless, yeah. thanks for the interview no and good luck for the. You can you can't. I, can, I'm not entirely sure right now. Okay. Um, so we'll, so I've got to, I've got to see. Then then good luck with the with your with your last round. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have uh, we got a keyword for the code raffle? Um, it should be burning shadows. No crimson invasion. So uh, it's CRI. CRI. Okay. Seriously. <laughs>